Hi, this is Glenn White with EuroSafety. In today's tutorial, I'd like to talk about the yaw load compensator, like what you would find on the AS350 models and the AS355 models of helicopters. The purpose of the yaw load compensator is to help us move the pedals after a hydraulic failure. Now, during normal operation, the yaw load compensator really has no job. But if we have a loss of pressure in the system or a loss of pressure uh, in the system on that side, if it's a dual hydraulic system helicopter, fluid stops flowing to the servo. And then the yaw load compensator will help us move the pedals. Now, it doesn't give you uh, fully hydraulic feel pedals, but it does help you move the pedals, uh, particularly in a high uh, weight scenario, something like uh, if you're real heavy or you had to make big movements within the pedals. And how this system works is you have an accumulator, which is simply a metal cylinder with a rubber bag in it filled with nitrogen, and we pump hydraulic fluid in around it. As we pump hydraulic fluid in around it, it collapses that bag, and then the bag is trying to push the fluid out for the rest of the uh, uh, time. Now the fluid pressure is routed to this piston chamber. So when you start moving the pedals, your uh, Richard cable coming from your pedals will go to the input lever of your servo and then try to push the servo or, or pull the servo in the direction that you're moving the pedals. Now if you push so that the uh, yaw load compensator is being pushed backwards to induce pitch into the tail rotor blades, then as we move it forward, fluid is allowed to be pumped into that chamber and will help us move the pedal in that direction. Now, when we move the pedal back to a neutral position, we have to pump the fluid back in to the accumulator, uh, repressurize it. So the accumulator helps us put the pressure in, and then because there's a twist in the spar now in the tail rotor, that twist will help us drive the fluid back into our uh, accumulator on our Yalu compensator. And you can see it works the same way on the other side if we put the other pedal in. And so you can see it going back and forth. I hope that answers any questions you have on the Yaw Load Compensator, and we'll see you at the next Euro Safety tutorial.